Jay, probably the biggest question I'd have for you tonight is the woman who held this position back in this position yet, I know she's was out on maternity leave. <coughs> yeah. I'm sorry? Um, what was your question? The, the, the person who held this position. Yes. Who got the raise. Um, is she back in, is she back from maternity leave? As of next Wednesday. As of next Wednesday. Okay. So throughout, do you know when she went out? Um, I believe, I don't know the exact date, but I believe it was the beginning of November. The beginning of November. Okay. Okay, guys, we kick this one around and basically we struggled with the nine and a quarter um, percent increase in this position that was given and half of for a period of the end of the year she was out on maternity leave she's now coming back and I guess the question was how you could give such a, a generous raise to that position. Um, <coughs> as I explained to you the first time, it had been four years without a raise. The raise we gave was for a dollar fifty-seven an hour. <coughs> it's a part-time job, <coughs> so there are no benefits. Um, there's no pension. Um, we felt it was earned and worth it. Um, I don't think that her, number one, we didn't know at the time that she was going out on maternity leave, and number two, I don't think that has any bearing on it. Uh, I, <coughs> if I could, point of order, I, I need to, I'm very uncomfortable. Discussion I understand what the, the concept of what we're talking about. <coughs> in my book that needs to go before the selectmen, I, I will not participate in conversation uh, talking about a specific employee, and then we start dealing into matters of maternity leave. It's it's medical issues. Way too into <laughs> medical issues, HIPAA issues, personnel issues. It's a personnel, personnel issues. issue, and you that can't discuss personnel. It should not be discussing that. It's a personnel issue. At all. Under nothing to do with anything. HIPAA, FERPA, all of it. No, under the state statute, you all can't right, talk about a personnel matter. I agree, Madam public. Chair. The question's out of order. All right. Then I'll deal with just the position as it is, and an increase of nine and a quarter percent. Is it my turn to ask questions? Mm -hmm. As regards to the total budget, if you've got something you want to say. Yeah, I have several questions which should be very brief, <laughs> if not interrupted. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Hi. As you recall, after our last meeting, I met you in the hall and I shook your hand and I said, don't worry, we'll find a way to maintain that raise. Right? And I still am of that mind. Appreciate that. Okay. But I do have some questions because the situation arose. It was rather unusual. It caused me to drill down and get a great education. So I just need a few more points to just bring this to uh, crystallization, if you will. Um, the the just to be sure to get the history out real quick. In in May there was a discussion at your board, that is to say the the conservation commission, that said anybody with budget issues bring it up for the next meeting, get ready for it. And then in June, you had your very very detailed minutes. By the way, you know, the minutes that were kept were perhaps the best in town. It was certainly the best I've seen. And then there it was a there was a uh, the reference to the raise, okay. It was not a vote. There was no reference to a non-public meeting having taken place. It was simply a proclamation of a raise. There was no number associated in your minutes, in terms of how much the raise would be. There was a lot of talk about administrative changes requiring to keep the part-time person down below 30 hours, presumably because of Obamacare, because that had not been suspended yet at that point. That was still June, right? So do I have this right so far? Uh, I'm having committed my June minutes to memory, so I'm trusting your... I have statement. committed I have committed them to okay. memory. <laughs> <coughs> and so in July 1st, the, the raise took effect, uh, and according to your testimony here, as well as the Board of Selectmen, uh, you gave the relevant, I believe the town manager also affirmed that he received from you relevant documentation to support that raise. Is that correct? I believe so. Okay. Do you know what documentation was that you gave to the town manager that supported that raise? What, what do you, what, yeah. I don't know what your question well, did you give him? Did you give him the minutes of your meeting or, you know, that, that indicated that a raise was, you know, 
dutifully passed by the no, Conservation Commission. Okay. Mm. Tim, what, what's you know, the point? I don't think we can. I, I want to get away okay, from you the also mechanics. Have a, a, uh, Basically, you have a conservation fund. Tim? Do we agree with the money I'm that's in the budget you. or not? You know what? The mechanics of this and the amount of money that we're dealing with, long and the short of it, is, is minute. It, it probably speaks to how. You, your budget, Jay, and, and let me say this. As, as much as we've had this discussion, this <coughs> man Wait, I'll, I'm going to finish. Asked him about, you asked him yeah, about I'm the merit, and that talks all. about the how, and I'm I was asking about the how just as well. Tim, I'm going to take I mean, this I wasn't bringing up personnel matters. Oh. I'm going to take this back, all right, to this question. First of all, this is a man who gives us a lot of time that he doesn't get paid for, never has gotten paid for, and we respect that. The biggest problem I have with the raise, with your budget, with it in the year, for the year, is that you didn't have <coughs> any money anywhere in your budget without taking it for other from other lines to give to that position. That's my problem. Okay. All right? Yeah. And kind of on a different note, we always have to find a way to find some sort of parity as we deal with every department in town. When we when we talked about it, you said your only concern is the Conservation Commission, and that's what it should be. Here, we kind of got to spread it around a little bit so that you know we're not doing 10% in fire spread department and 1% in the police department. We got to kind of look at the whole overview. So from that standpoint, even though for you, in your mind, you were playing catch up at 925 for this employee and I have no doubt she's a valued employee and maybe was underpaid to begin with I don't that's not part of the argument what we had in your budget were things that you asked for the prior year that we gave you to use in 2013 as well as the fact that we have to substantiate these percentage increases with everybody and those two things didn't jive and I tell you, I don't know if there's anything in this. I, I cut $100,000 out of budgets faster than I've looked at this $2,000. And there's no way, shape, or form that I really want to get into the employee or penalize her or make this any more than what it is other than maybe a learning example that we do give you a budget based on what you say you need. That was a past budget. It wasn't a <coughs> default budget last year. So we would hope that all the pigeonholes that we exercise giving money to got filled and they didn't and with that you said that there were a few items that you had under supplies and let me read it um, uh, but madam chairman uh, we do we have to realize that the budget committee only approves the bottom line budget oh. it then goes to the we approve the bottom line budget but we approve it line by line and we don't approve anybody at nine percent rate and that's that's fine Eileen, but you do have to remember that the budget committee's job is the bottom line budget. What happens to that bottom line budget is up to the prerogative of the selectmen. Well, and that's where the, the um, problem is, and it's been from age old, that budget right. committee but arguing. Ginny, as you come before the budget committee and with the new budget and ask for certain things, it is our prerogative to scrutinize that budget based on how you manage and spent your previous budget and there are things that come up there are ways that we end up sometimes spending more on one thing than another and things that go bump in the night but I don't think this is covered by either one of those so basically I'm going to call your attention to page 145 excuse me and where it says operating expenses that line for 4330 okay mm -hmm. That is where the money this year, according to Mr. Dina, came out of. And I'm going to look for a motion to take $2,000 out of that line and reduce it to 2330 The entire raise itself came to 2855 I think. So I am leaving money in there. I am leaving some money in there as, <coughs> as an increase and not 
penalizing the whole thing to the next line. But my feelings are that for the rest of the people that we cover in this town, we, we have to, I see where there's some makeup there, but we, we, we have people at DPW that waited seven years and never got a makeup to the tune of nine percent. So I'm trying to find a fair and equitable way, if for nothing else, <coughs> to somehow correct this without penalizing the employee and just have everybody think about the budget itself, what you come and you ask for. I think the budget committee is reasonable. I think we look at the expenses and reasonably treat our employees. But when you start taking one thing to do something else in the same year, it's, it's problematic to me. So a question. Yes. I mean, she's been out on maternity leave, so the amount of money it's a position. Don't even talk about the Person employee. We're Person talking in about in a position that is filled. Doesn't matter who's in it. The position was covered. Just <coughs> that. We'll leave it at that, and we won't get into that discussion. They're talking about this as it exists. That is sure. my I remedy. Have, I still have questions. May I proceed? Yes. Jay, in your conservation fund, how much do you have there? Um, The cons you mean our budget? Conservation yeah. fund. Our land acquisition fund? Yeah, it's in the RSAs. It's called the conservation fund. What we refer to as our land acquisition fund, I believe, has, and I'd have to look at the budget numbers, <coughs> um, roughly 55000 Now, that, that fund is uh, entirely under the control of the Conservation Commission. Correct? I mean, they get to decide what disbursements are made from that fund. They don't have to talk to the Board of Selectmen or the Budget Committee. The Conservation Commission. You do talk to the Board of Selectmen. Well, you could choose to, but the by mm -hmm. RSA, the Conservation Commission can vote to make disbursements as long as they're pursuing their duties as, as a Conservation Commission, of course. Right. Mm, I'm not sure what you're looking for. This confirmation of that fact. It is a fact of law that the Conservation Commission has total control of the Conservation Fund, right? and, and they can only they can use that money to to uh, fund their operation entirely. So the question the taxpayers that I speak to have is, why isn't that double dipping when we see you have money in the Conservation Fund wholly under your control, plus you're taking money out of the municipal budget? That looks like yeah. double dipping to some. Can you explain why it shouldn't be? seen as double dipping uh, because it's not double dipping yeah. that money is specifically set aside only for the purpose of land acquisition acquisition that's not what the RSA say it's not what the RSA say it's but it is the way they've used yeah. the fund in his right. defense but is it that money usually funded by a warrant article I mean yes. usually doesn't a warrant article come before the yes. uh, deliberative session to fund X amount of dollars for the Conservation Commission's land acquisition fund right it has upon occasion. It doesn't always do that. Right. Yes, that's true. And that's how it and up, that money, right? that money again, is set aside specifically for, for that purpose. For that purpose, correct. Thank you. Okay. The conservation it fund, as is defined by the RSAs, is called a conservation fund, and it's used to fund the operations, including land acquisition, that the conservation commission sees fit to pursue. Okay. That's what the RSA says. Okay, that's not how we operate. Okay. Well, that's how you could operate. My only it's point not is... not how we operate, and to operate like that would be, be, would be deceiving the townspeople, and we won't do that. Well, not following the law would also be deceiving the okay. townspeople. So, I mean, well, I agree with you on that Let's point. stop on that one. The yeah. bottom line is we have no authority over Madam you sure. whatsoever. Yes, sir. Point, right. point of order, Madam Chair, yes, sir. if I could, all due respect, it's not a cross-examination. No, it's not. And, and I think if there's an issue about a legal question, we need to refer that to town council as to, and I believe the question's already been, it, I think it's moot, because I think it was answered before. There is no illegality. There is no impropriety. We would not be sitting here if that was the case. No, sir. I, I, well, hold on. Let me finish. Okay. Please. I believe it's moot. Point taken. What I'd like to do so move we can get on. some work done here mm -hmm. is move this question 
if there's an issue with legality, consult with counsel and let's get to work. Okay. One last <coughs> question, Jay. At the end of the year, if you have any money left, where does that go? Stays with the Conservation Commission. Stays with the Conservation Commission. So if you have any money left in your budget this year, it will stay with you. Correct. It does not go back into the general fund. Right. This the is the way fund. this <coughs> is the way the laws are and I know I see a few eyebrows around the table. These are some ways that make the conservation committee different than the way other things operate. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons why I'm looking to take two thousand dollars out of their budget as just a leveling of this playing field of what's gone on and everybody rethink how this whole thing works. So can I have is a, mo a motion? Is that a motion? I'm asking, I'll second I'm making, I'm, yeah, I'm okay. I'm making a motion to take $2,000 out. So you, you're motioning to change the conservation line from 33252 to 31252? The operating expenses. Okay, very specifically, I'm looking okay, to you're take looking it out of... Mm. Um, 4330 to She's just changing the subline items, right? I'm changing the subline yeah. items. Yeah. Well, you have no change in his bottom line, line at all. I'm telling you exactly yeah. where I'm Yeah, if you yeah. change 4330, you yeah. change the bottom line to 32, 31. Right. We need to affect the bottom yeah. line. Yeah. But it effectively line. changes the 30 to 31. 31. Right. Exactly. Oh, over and yep. above the. Yeah, right. 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 Any discussion on that point? I would have one question. What would be the implication to your commission? If you halved that line item, as the motion would, with the bottom line. No, you're taking money out of an appropriated <coughs> four thousand dollar line item. What would it mean to your operation to lose half of the funding for that line item? Um, I'd have to look at that, but um, I believe our secretary comes out of that. Um, so we may have to look at losing the secretary who keeps our meeting minutes. Um. Jay, let me ask you this. When I, and I, you know, I went to that line item because I asked you where you took it from for the increase this year. And that was the answer that I got. So that's where I'm going. Yeah, so secretary is $1,200. Okay, so you would have enough. Even if he didn't, he could take it out of the conservation. All right. Plan. I'm not going to believe but $2,000. I'm going to, yeah, unless there's some <laughs> really strong question, I want to put it to a vote. Yeah, I, yeah, I would never vote for that. I, I, okay. Yeah. Those in favor? Who else, who else was in favor of it? It'll be defeated anyway, but... Mm -hmm. I'm in favor of taking the $2,000 out. Right. Mm -hmm. Could you please raise your hands if you're in favor? Okay. There were four people. Got one, two, three, yeah, four. It's, it's four, four in favor. Okay. Four. Brian, Steve, Tim, and who else? And Eileen. And me. You made the motion. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Dean. I appreciate you coming down. Thank you. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for all your uh, good work, sir. Thank you, too. Good night, Jack. I know you guys have a tough night. So.